Hello, my love. I wanted to remind you that I'm having a boys' night tonight. I probably won't be back till late. I remember. Have fun. Oh, we definitely will. We're going to the same bar as always, but it'll be nice to catch up with everyone. I'll miss you, though. Aw, I'll miss you, too. You're not driving, are you? No, we're taking Ubers. Wise move. And speaking of, I wanted to let you know that I borrowed some cash before I left this morning for the ride and to buy a couple rounds. I hope that's okay. Of course, what's mine is yours. You're the best, babe. Love you. Love you, too. Hey, this is Alan. Who? Gavin's friend. The blonde one. Canadian. Sorry, I don't really remember. We met at Tony's birthday. Oh, right. Hey. Yeah, Gavin doesn't really talk about his guy friends too much. Yeah, I guess not. Anyway, sorry to bother you, but I wanted to see if everything was okay. What do you mean? Between you and Gavin. I hope you two aren't having problems. No, not at all. Why would you think that? Oh, uh, no reason. Pretend I didn't say anything. No, there's gotta be a reason. I mean, you hunted down my number, right? Like, why would you just message me out of the blue like this? Yeah, um... I don't want to seem like someone who gossips about his friends, so please don't say anything to him, but... He's been complaining about you all night. What? What has he said? Just about your attitude and how you're always so cold all the time. Cold? As in temperature-wise or emotionally? Both. I don't know. Lots of stuff. He's just really been going off. I just wanted to let you know. Oh. Well, I guess thanks. I don't know what to say. You know what? Forget it. It's probably just him venting with the guys. You know, like people do. Never mind. Hi again. You didn't talk to Gavin about what I told you, did you? No. Okay, well, it's happening again. What's happening again? He's still going off. He said you treat him like a kid with an allowance. I do not. Sure, I make more money than he does, but I would never treat him like a kid. That's what he's saying. Are you still talking about last weekend? No, today. We were at a bar. No, you weren't. He's been at work all day. Is that what he told you? He wouldn't lie to me about that. I don't know what to tell you. I know you don't know me. We're not really friends or anything, but I don't think that Gavin is the guy you think he is. Again, I don't want you to get me involved in this, but I highly suggest that you have a long talk with him. You don't deserve to be treated like this. And you for sure don't deserve to be with someone who says such negative things behind your back. Do you have any proof that he was with you today in the bar? Like photos or anything? No. Then I don't believe you. He was wearing a blue button-down shirt, right? I don't remember. Well, when he gets home, you can see for yourself. But that wouldn't prove anything. He always wears dress shirts to work, and half of them are blue. Yeah, I'm just saying, talk with him. See if he's happy in your relationship. Maybe I will, or maybe I'll forget everything you just told me. It's up to you. Hey, are you at work right now? Yeah, why? And you've been there all day? Yes. You weren't hanging out with your friends? What do you mean? With Alan? What? No. Why would you think that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You just accused me of something ridiculous. Serena, I'm at work. Did Alan tell you otherwise? Yeah. I can't believe it. Honey, Alan is one of my oldest friends. I love him like a brother, but he always does this kind of thing. What kind of thing? He sabotages my relationships. It happened in college, and I guess it's happening again. Let me guess, did he just text you out of nowhere and start telling you bad stuff about me? Yeah. Well, it's all BS, trust me. But I don't understand why he'd do that. You don't know him. The guy's jealous of anyone in a stable relationship. He knows just how much I love you, and he's just trying to drive a wedge. Please, just block his number, okay? Okay. So you trust me, right? You know I wouldn't just hang out with friends instead of going to work, right? Right. Sorry if I jumped to conclusions. It's okay, but don't talk to that guy again, okay? Sure, but if he treats you like this, why are you still friends with him? I don't know, Serena. I don't know. Serena? Hi. Hi. You didn't block my number? 
Not yet, but I will in a heartbeat if I think that you're trying to stir up any more trouble. I think it's more than that. I think you believe me. That's why you didn't block my number. You want to hear me out. Don't test me. Okay, just listen to me, please. Go ahead. I can't tell you all the specifics, but Gavin is doing more than just talking about you. He's cheating on you, Serena. With who? I can't say. And how long have you known? I've always known. I should have told you that before, but I wanted to lead into it first. You need to break up with him before he breaks your heart. First you tell me that he's talking about me behind my back, then you say he's cheating, and you won't tell me any more information? Why would I believe any of this? I don't know. Because you trust your instincts? Because deep down you know that there's something going on with him? I need more than that. I'm sorry. You'll have to find that out yourself. What do you mean? Look in his backpack. His backpack? Yes, he takes it with him everywhere, right? If he's cheating, there will be evidence in there. I'm not going to look through my boyfriend's stuff behind his back. Suit yourself. Then you'll never know. But if you do find something, please don't tell him we talked, okay? Why? Because he can't find out that I talked to you, okay? He already knows that you told me the other stuff. I know, and he confronted me about it. But anything else, he can't find out. Fine. So you're going to look? I think I have to. I found empty condom wrappers. Yeah. And ticket stubs to a chick flick that I didn't see. Yeah, is that enough proof for you? No, the wrappers could be ours, though I'm not sure why he'd put them in his backpack. And the ticket stubs, who knows, he might have an excuse. So you're going to confront him? Of course, but I won't mention your name, I promise. Okay, and Serena, you deserve better. I'm sorry. Whatever. Gavin, I found this. And this. In your backpack. Care to explain? Why were you going through my stuff? Not the point. Did Alan tell you to look in there? No, I haven't talked to him since last weekend. Honey, you have to believe me. I have no idea what those things are doing in there. They're not mine. Then how did they get in your backpack? Honestly, I don't know. I really don't. Please, Serena, think of this logically. That's not even the brand of condom that I use. And if I was sleeping around, why would I go with some girl to a movie that I'd hate? Those aren't my things. Then what's the explanation? Alan, it has to be him. Somehow he must have known that you'd look through my stuff. He's trying to set me up. That's literally the only explanation that makes sense. Why would he do that? I don't know. You're sure he didn't tell you to look inside my backpack? Yes, he didn't. You blocked his phone number? Yes. Then, I guess he figured you'd look there somehow. I don't know. But he's setting me up, Serena. You believe me, right? Please tell me you believe me. Yeah. Great, thank you. I love you so much and I don't want to lose you because of someone else's weird revenge scheme or whatever it is. I don't want to lose you too. Good. How about we go out for dinner tonight? Say, seven? Lascari's? That would be lovely. Wonderful. My treat. Oh, you don't have to do that. Okay, your treat. <laughs> it's a date. Oh, and while we're on the subject of paying for things, can I maybe borrow your credit card tomorrow? I need to pick up a new suit and I won't get paid until the end of the month. Sorry, I can give you cash, but you know I keep my cards to myself. Cards? Plural? Yeah, I have the one that's always on me and the business card I keep locked up. Oh, in the safe, right? Yeah, but if you need cash, just tell me how much. Actually, I think it can wait. No worries. Okay. Anyway, see you tonight. Can't wait. Gavin? I've been here 20 minutes. Where are you? Gavin? So, obviously you're not coming. Great. Thanks for standing me up. I'm so sorry. My phone was dead and my stupid Uber driver went to the wrong address when he was picking me up. If your phone was dead, how do you know that the driver went to the wrong address? 
because my phone is working now and I saw the missed calls. Okay. You gotta believe me, I feel awful. It's okay, it happens to everyone. I still had a good dinner, even if I was by myself. Alan, you have to tell me more about what's going on. Gavin stood me up for dinner and he made up some BS excuse. What's going on? He asked you out to dinner? Yeah, and then he didn't show up. Tonight? Yes. Oh. Alan, what's happening? Is he seeing this other woman right now? No, I don't know what he was doing, but I know it's not good. And I'll find out, I promise. Thank you. Just drop him, okay? You have to. So you're not going to tell me anything else? I can't. I'm sorry. Serena, I'm going to tell you the whole truth now. I, I have to. And please, don't get angry. At Gavin or at you? At me. You should be mad at Gavin for what he's trying to do to you. Jesus, just tell me what's going on. So, I didn't lie to you before. Gavin is seeing someone else. But it's not another woman. It's me. What? Yeah. He was cheating on me with you? Actually, it's sort of the opposite. What do you mean? I mean, he was cheating on me with you. We've been together for four years. When he met you, we'd already been together for a while. And I loved him. I thought he was the man I was going to marry. I don't understand. Gavin's gay? Bye. I think. So he only asked me out to... What? To overcome his self-hatred to prove something to himself? No, that's not it. Then why would he trick me like this? Do you really want me to answer that? Yes! Because you're rich, Serena. He's with you for the money, but he loves me. I don't believe that. <coughs> this is me and Gavin last month at Fisherman's Wharf. <coughs> and this is us when we went to see the Nutcracker last Christmas. Stop sending photos, please. I, I believe that he was seeing you, but I refuse to believe that he loves you and not me. Look closer at those pictures. Look at Gavin's smile. Does he smile that way when he's with you? No. I'm so sorry. The secret's been eating me up inside. I've wanted to tell you for so long now. But you didn't. Because he threatened to leave me if I said anything. And I didn't want to lose him. So I did the only thing I could. I tried to put doubts in your head. Tried to push you into leaving him. I know it was wrong, but it was the only thing I could think to do. Do you understand? No! I yes? Yes and no. I don't know. This is just awful. I know. But after all this, why are you telling me now? Because of what he's planning to do. He's gone too far and you don't deserve any more heartache. What's he planning to do, Alan? You remember when he stood you up last night? Was he with you? No. That's why I thought it was so strange when you mentioned that he ditched you. No, he was back at your house. Huh? He made sure that you were out of the house and he broke into your safe. I guess you'd accidentally told him where to find your backup credit card. He took my card? He wants to run away with me. He figured that you were starting to suspect him, so he decided to just steal everything and leave. He just showed me our plane tickets. Where? Canada. I'm a Canadian citizen, so we won't have a problem staying there long term. He plans to flee the country and settle down together. With your money. He told you this? Yeah. And you said yes? I did. I didn't want him to know that I'd turned on him. But I have turned on him, Selena. This is one step too far. I can't be with someone this cruel. God. He's going to an ATM right now to withdraw everything. Or, you know, as much as he can. And he just left? Yeah, he's walking there now. Man, I cannot believe we both fell for this guy. I know. I'm, I'm going to call the police about the stolen card. Can you tell me exactly which ATM he's going to? On 12th and Divine, near that Starbucks. And directly across from the police station. This is perfect. Okay, let's get this jackass arrested. Alan, thank you. No, thank you. I should have told you the truth a long time ago. So, are we friends now? <laughs> yeah, I guess we are. Gavin, I loved you. Hi, hun. Can't talk now. I'll call later. No, you won't. Unless you want to waste your one phone call on me. What are you talking about? 
I know you're trying to withdraw my money and then flee the country. No, I would never. Gavin, stop lying to me. I'm tired of being your bank account. And I'm really tired of being your beard. I just wanted to tell you all of this before the police come. I waited long enough for you to withdraw as much as you could, you know, for evidence purposes. But they should be there by now. Do you hear the sirens? Serena, please, it was just a misunderstanding. You have to come here and tell them it was a misunderstanding. No, it wasn't. And you know how I figured it out? With Alan. We worked together. He's actually a good guy. Who knew? Gavin literally drained my account. He took thousands of dollars, but thankfully he had it with him when he got arrested. The police confiscated everything, so I didn't lose a cent. Gavin went to jail, of course. He's awaiting trial now. I haven't bothered to visit him. I think it would be too painful. Alan did, though. Yesterday, he went in to see him. I'm not sure what they talked about, but I am pretty sure it ended with goodbye forever. Honestly, since all this went down, I haven't thought too much about Gavin at all. I very quickly got rid of his things, which I had bought for him, of course, and with the support of my new friend Alan, I've moved on. We've gotten pretty close, me and Alan. Who would have thought? There's no romance between us, obviously, but it's nice to have someone that I can trust.